this globalization and internationalization is going to be happening. Also, some very interesting little tidbit that has happened. Remember three years ago, there was only one Japanese who got into Harvard, undergraduate? Well, this year, there were so many applicants that Harvard didn't have enough interviewees, right, here in Tokyo for all the applicants uh, that actually happened, right? So there is starting to be, you know, some change actually coming through. What does it all mean? A lot of talk. You've got this business cycle uptick with the bank lending side. You've got the structural issue. What does it all mean in terms of when your bosses ask you, so what is Japan's growth rate going to be over the next five to ten years? Right now, we think the average growth rate is about 1%. Okay, that's the potential growth rate of Japan. If these reforms are actually getting implemented, we think that overall economic growth can be boosted to a level of around 2%. Okay, now economists, there's a huge margin of error in there, but you know, these are, it's, it's, it's us together with the IMF, you know, who've done the calculations here. So one of the take homes here is, what does it all mean if it works out? If it works out, Japan over the next five to 10 years is gonna be growing at around 2% rather than the 1% that has so, happened Yes, before. the risk of capital flight the risk of a one-way street having been opened is there, absolutely no question about it. The counter is not higher interest rates in Japan to defend the currency. The counter is a more aggressive deregulation policy to entice capital that seeks returns here in Japan.